All right, we are back at Smooch Cosmetics and we're here for another makeup tutorial and beauty tips. We have our wonderful model, Christy, and we have Meg Hansen, um, who does a ton of uh, makeup from weddings to prom. Prom is right around the corner, young ladies, and so if you wanna look amazing, you're already gonna look amazing, but Meg will help you um, do a nice natural prom look and not go too overboard. I can do anything that you want. Yeah, she'll do anything you want, really. <laughs> um, but today we're doing something really, really cool. Um, we're doing the definition with bronze bronzing and today we have the new Bare Minerals bronzing palette. So um, as a lot of people have been asking questions about bronzing, highlighting and contouring, um, it's become really popular with Kim Kardashian in particular with her um, tutorials that she's put out which actually has been a very popular form of contouring but a very old form of contouring. And kind of false too, right? Well, it's very, very dramatic. So it's great if you're going to a fashion shoot, you're going to have a camera that's going to be lighting you and editing you. It's a great way to get the look that you want in a photo shoot. In real life, walking down the street, <laughs> people are going to wonder what the heck you did to your face <laughs> and why you don't seem to know what color of foundation you're supposed to be wearing. <laughs> so we're going to show you how you can do that for an everyday real life version of it. We're going to use the California Browns Kit by Bare Minerals. It comes with three great colors here. Um, so of course this time of year, um, in the spring, it's kind of the time of year when everybody transitions from their winter foundation to their summer foundation. Um, you may not be ready to quite make the jump between the two. Um, so we have this first color here, the Ocean View, which is a very, very sheer bronze. Um, a very matte bronze. Um, this would be a great color if you needed to just darken up very slightly your winter foundation with a little bit of sunshine that you're getting in the spring. And I like to think about, rather than totally brushing it all over your face, think about if your face were out in the sun, the points that are going to hit the sun and get the most amount of sunlight. So you would go along the top of your brow bone, you would go down your nose, you would do your cheekbones, maybe a little bit on your chin. Now when you're thinking about highlighting and contouring, is what you're really trying to do is make the angles and shapes of your face more dramatic. So if you think about it, you want to put shadows in the valleys and light on the hills. So we've got two different colors here. We have the shiny moment, which is like a highlighter, and then we have the high dive, which is a deeper, darker bronzer. And if you're not quite sure, if you don't have really strong cheekbones where you're wanting to put that, literally just suck your cheeks in and do that in that hollow of your cheek. So also you can give your forehead a little definition by putting it in your temples, up along your hairline, do a little bit along your jawline. This is also a great trick to do if you're going to a special event where you do know there will be photography. Flashes of cameras really light up your face and flatten them out. Um, because the light goes into those natural shadows. So by putting the darker bronzer in where those shadows belong, it helps keep those shadows in your face. Now you would take the highlighter and put that in the areas again that you want for the light to hit first. So up along the top of the cheekbone. You could also do this on your collarbone if you're wearing a, a lower cut shirt. Just a little bit on the chin, a little bit on your forehead. Now there we've given her some fa her face some dimension, but in a way that she'll be able to walk down the street, walk in the office, and it'll look completely natural, rather than looking like she's wearing four different colors of foundation. 